Some Williamson County families are jumping ship. They've decided to take their students out of public school and enroll them in private school. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with one parent who did just that. I talked to a mom who added up how much it would cost to have a tutor or child care at her home or go to private school. And in the end, she says private school was the better option. So we just felt like this was the best choice for our family. Cindy Wallace decided to pull her two boys out of Williamson County schools since they're starting the year remotely. And it breaks my heart to be honest that some parents aren't able to make a choice that makes financial sense for them this year. It's extremely frustrating. People are having to um, leave their job or, you know, face that situation of possibly losing their job if they stay home with their child. Cindy and her husband both work full time, so staying home for virtual learning is not an option. She says in a survey, nearly 65% of parents said they wanted in-person instruction as an option. There's another probably 12 to 13% that said most likely I would. So, you know, we're almost at 85% of parents that if given the choice, they would want their kids to start school in person. Cindy says she's not alone. She knows other parents who are taking the private school or homeschool route, even when many parents chose to move here for the school district. And they've just kind of been left in the dark throughout Cindy the went to public schools in Nashville and she's worried about how this will affect funding. That's a little bit of a frustrating part because um, at, in this situation, I think it would make sense for the funding to follow the students because there's going to be thousands of students that are not enrolled. For now, she's going to focus on getting her children adjusted to a new school and new friends. I think for a lot of parents, it's just that emotional roller coaster and decision fatigue. We just really want to make the best choice for our kids. Reporting in Brentwood, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. In Williamson County, kindergarten through second grade will go back in person on Friday. Schools won't know where their enrollment numbers stand until after Labor Day.